Prince George could be sent to £46,296 a year Eton College despite Kate, Princess of Wales, talking about reducing inequality as part of her child advocacy. The Prince and Princess of Wales were spotted taking their eldest child to have a look around Eton College this week. Fans shared pictures of the meeting on social media, below, reported, with the 10-year-old George seen wearing shorts and a short-sleeved shirt as he accompanied his parents to the prestigious school. The sighting has now reinforced speculation that he will eventually follow in both his father Prince William's and uncle's footsteps by going to the boarding school. Daily Express Royal Correspondent Richard Palmer, speaking on the Royal Roundup on Friday, said he was intrigued that the Waleses had taken George to look at Eton. Prince George and other pages of honor miss out on key role Although boys do not attend the Berkshire School until they are 13, they can be registered up until June 30th of the school year they turn 10, according to the Eton website. If George were sent to Eton where fees cost some £46,000 a year from the age of 13 until he leaves school at 18, it would cost a total of more than £270,000. Speaking from Ascot Racecourse on Friday, Mr Palmer said, I find it fascinating because the Princess of Wales is spending so much of her life talking about giving children a better start in life and part of that, she and her advisors, have talked about reducing inequality. And there you have her children at a fee-paying independent school, almost certain to go to an expensive fee-paying boarding school later on. George and his younger siblings Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis currently go to Lambrook School near Ascot and their home in Windsor where their fees combined cost more than £53,000 a year. In 2021, Kate founded the Royal Foundation Centre for Early Childhood, her organisation which aims to push for increased awareness of and new research into the impact of the early years. As part of her child advocacy, the mother of three launched her campaign, called Shaping Us, at the beginning of this year where she said, by focusing our collective time, energy, and resources to build a supportive, nurturing world around the youngest members of our society and those caring for them, we can make a huge difference to the health and happiness of generations to come. Professor Raymond McCrory, an expert in developmental neuroscience and member of Kate's Foundation's advisory group, told The Huffington Post in January that there were some benefits that come from focusing on kids' early childhood, including closing the school attainment gap. Another member of the advisory group, Carrie Oppenheim, also told The Huffington Post that families are increasingly experiencing inequality and uncertainty. Don't miss. George eyeing up new school as fans spot him on tour with Kate and William, report, Prince William gives non-answer when asked why palaces aren't open to homeless, insight, Prince William's five-year plan to tackle homelessness praised, analysis, William, in an interview with The Times this month where he set out that his lifelong ambition is to end homelessness in Britain, told how he strives to ensure that his children are aware of their privilege. He said, when I left this morning, one of the things I was thinking was, when is the right time to bring George or Charlotte or Louis to a homeless organization? I think when I can balance it with their schooling, they will definitely be exposed to it. On the school run, we talk about what we see. When we were in London, driving backwards and forwards, we regularly used to see people sitting outside supermarkets and we'd talk about it. I'd say to the children, why are they there? What's going on? I think it's in all our interests, it's the right thing to do, to expose the children, at the right stage, in the right dialogue, so they have an understanding. They, will, 
grow up knowing that actually, do you know what, some of us are very fortunate, some of us need a little bit of a helping hand, some of us need to do a bit more where we can to help others improve their lives. Mr. Palmer said discussing the likes of inequality and homelessness is a difficult sell for the Prince and Princess of Wales, adding, but what they will always say is they're using their position which they accept is a privileged position to highlight these huge concerns for our country. If George does attend Eton, the future king will be following both his father and Prince Harry to the school which has several prime ministers among its alumni, including Boris Johnson and David Cameron. George would also be joining several other royals who attended the prestigious school, including Queen Elizabeth's cousins Prince Edward, Prince Richard, and Prince Michael, 